Hi, my name is Nate Olguin, Production Support Engineer for Semigroup Texas. Today I'm going to be going over a tri-scroll vacuum pump that we maintain here at Semigroup. Initial process include of receiving the pump. Uh, we'll hook it up to our Convectron gauge, as well as a test box that we have that we're able to monitor the current. Um, and basically what we're checking for is um, the customer will explain to us that it has a low base pressure, so we'll bring the pump in and do a preliminary test on this to make sure that we can duplicate or ex at least experience what the customer uh, described to us with their issue. So what I'll do now is I'll start testing this pump, and what we do is we'll hook up our Convectron gauge with our clamps, make sure our meter's turned on, we'll apply power, and as the pump starts to run, we'll look here at our gauge and make sure it pumps down to an adequate pressure. And we'll also take a look at our voltmeter here to measure the current that this motor is currently running at. From this, we'll determine what level of maintenance will need to be performed on the vacuum pump. And uh, we'll take it and we'll move it to another test station where we'll break it down and begin the repair. So after we've tested the vacuum pump initially to find out what level of maintenance we have, we'll break down the pump and to the different housings of the module. And as you can see here, some of the modules, they come in really dirty and they'll have the worn tip seals on the inside and create a lot of dirt. And basically create the base pressure from reaching a very the low base of what the customer requires. After we break down the pump, we'll clean everything and we we'll replace the bearings, we'll replace the tip seals, we'll replace all the different O-rings that are located throughout the different areas of the pump that go on different ceiling surfaces. This is called the orbiting plate with the crankshaft as well and we rebuild everything all the way down to the needle bearings, the shaft seals, and the crankshaft when needed. After we've cleaned the module and replaced all the components, we reassemble the module and attach it to the motor. Once we attach it to the motor, we move it to the final testing station where we will then test the pump's ability to reach the customer's required base pressure. So after we've fully reassembled the module to the motor of the vacuum pump, we will then go ahead and apply power, our Convectron gauge, and monitor our motor current with our meter here. And what we're looking for here is for the Convectron gauge to reach a base pressure of 10 millitor or below, and we're also looking for a good motor current around 5 to 6 amps, which this is where it's at and we'll let the pump run for about an hour to two hours and check the module temperature to make sure that the pump is not overheating. So if you're looking for an affordable solution to maintain and repair your tri-scroll pumps, give Semigroup Texas a call.